What's up, everybody? Skylar Dean here, lifestyle fat loss coach and founder of Reach Fat Loss and Fitness, where our goal is to help get you in the best shape of your life, build muscle, burn fat, and do it all without counting calories, without hopping on some strict diet, and definitely without any cardio. What we're going to talk about in today's video, as well as every other video I put out, has helped clients of mine lose fat, but most importantly, build the confidence to know that they can keep it off for good. And so if you're not tuned into our channel every week, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that bell. Our goal is to help you simplify the process of losing fat, and I'd love to have you as part of the community. So today, we are going over a recent Trader Joe's haul that I just got back from the store with. Trader Joe's is an awesome, awesome place. They have very unique products. And the difficult part with Trader Joe's is that they're very good at marketing where you step in, you kind of get this feel that everything in there is healthy. And that's just not true. There's a lot of products that aren't very high quality. And so in this video, we're going over the products that are. I'll preface this. There are some products that I buy almost every single time I go to Trader Joe's. And then there are some newest products in here that I'm definitely excited to share with you. So first and foremost, we're going to start it off strong is wine. I'm not a big drinker. I probably only drink a couple times a year at this point. However, when I do get a bottle of wine, what I care about is that the grapes are organic. All wines in the United States come from the California area, which is heavily sprayed with pesticides. And so if you are getting wine, it's a really good idea to go organic so that you don't get any added sugars in there, but also to avoid any high levels of glyphosate, which is a pesticide that is pretty toxic. The pesticide has been shown to be a neurotoxin, shown to damage your gut. It's created a lot of hormone issues. And so it's definitely a good idea to avoid for the most part. So that's why when I do buy a wine, I do make sure I go organic. Next, we've got some meat from Trader Joe's. So first is going to be the grass fed steak. Now beef, it's a really, really good idea to go grass fed. These are a little bit more on the pricey side compared to their size. I think they're around like 15 or 16 bucks for this, which depending on which store you go to is typically going to be more pricey. However, these are vacuum sealed, so they do last a little bit longer than a typical steak you'd get from the grocery store. So the reason we go with grass fed is that cows are being fed their natural diet, which means that when it comes to the omega-3 and omega-6 ratio, we're getting more of an omega-3. So a quick summation, omega-3 is very anti-inflammatory. Omega-6 is very pro-inflammatory. The majority of the standard Western diet is more omega-6 based, so more pro-inflammatory goal is to have an even one-to-one -one ratio, but most people are just way high on the omega-6 scale. So if you do eat beef, if you do eat anything that has a natural diet, you just got to make sure that it's eating its actual natural diet instead of corn, soy, some of the other things that these cows are being fed that naturally raise their omega-6 content. Next meat we've got in here are some organic grass-fed uncured beef hot dogs. So from an ingredient standpoint, we've got organic beef, water, potassium lactate, which is a preservative, and then we got 2% or less of seasoning. So sea salt, celery powder, onion, garlic, coriander, white pepper, nutmeg, mace ginger. This is a high quality product. I'm always interested in trying different forms of meat. It's still beef, but it's just a different way to have it. And so this is something that I will be enjoying. Next, we've got some organic wild blueberries. Now, in terms of blueberries, organic is always very, very important because they are one of the more heavier sprayed fruits. The reason we go wild, so wild are going to be a little bit smaller than your standard blueberries, and they're a little bit more nutrient dense as well. So they're very, very good for gut health. They're very good for metabolism. And so when I have blueberries, typically, unless I'm buying them fresh, I'll just go with organic wild blueberries, I put these in my pan cakes. If I have yogurt, I'll put them in. They're just something that I'm kind of consuming during random points during the week. This is an absolute staple for me from Trader Joe's. Next, we've got something like gold here, some organic pasture raised eggs. If you saw my Costco video, I talked about going there to get organic eggs, but missing out on the pasture raised eggs from Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's typically will have an organic pasture raised and then a standard pasture raised. I usually buy pasture raised because it's about $2 less per carton. They didn't have any pasture raised in stock today, so I did want to re-up on eggs, so I went ahead and got the organic variation. The reason we want to go pasture raised with chickens is because number one, they're more likely to be humanely treated. It means they're raised on a pasture, so they're raised outside but also they're more likely to bed more of their natural diet. So they're getting bugs, they're getting seeds, they're getting things that again, are gonna change that nutrient content. So eggs are a must right now, even in these trying times. So if you do have a Trader Joe's in your area that has these in stock, make sure to capitalize on them because as well as that, honestly, they're pretty fairly priced. Next, we got a couple new products. Um, first is gonna be sliced Korean rice cakes. I'm really interested in this. So this is a frozen food. As far as ingredients go, it's literally just white rice and water. So I figure it's a very different way to consume rice. I'll have jasmine rice with almost every meal. So this is just going to be an interesting thing to try. Looks like you kind of just boil them until they're soft and then you can add in some oil, veggies, whatever. So I might just do like a stir fry with this. Just saw it, thought it was cool, clean ingredients, and I'm excited to try it. Next, we've got a product I'm not too happy about, ah, but I'm going to share it anyway. Um, I bought these in the past and I have never noticed the ingredient that I see now on here. So what I will say is that my guess is they've changed it. It might have just been there all along and I missed it, but this is a mushroom medley. Trader Joe's has a bunch of frozen veggie options that are really good. You just do have to double check the ingredients to make sure there's no inflammatory oils in it. So typically I'll buy like their broccoli, the cauliflower, all the plain veggies, and then sometimes I'll get pre-seasoned, just making sure they have clean ingredients. I did not think that this had any inflammatory oils in here, but it does have sunflower seed oil. I will say it has more olive oil than sunflower seed oil, so there's probably not much, 
However, it's still in there. So this is probably gonna be the last time I buy these. So just for your information, so it's a blend of high quality mushrooms. So you got champignons, oyster mushrooms, boletus, and slippery jack mushrooms. And then they put in the extra virgin olive oil, the sunflower seed oil, and then they season it with some parsley, salt, garlic. I really have loved the taste of these in the past. Kind of bummed that's in there, but you live and you learn. Next, we've got a shrimp stir fry with a gourmet seasoning. Um, this was actually a recommendation from a client of mine, and I'm pretty happy about this. So you got the broccoli there is the number one ingredient. Then we've got uncooked shrimp, sugar snap peas, water chestnuts, bean sprouts, red bell peppers, and then the seasoning. So the seasoning is salt, dextrose, black pepper, citric acid, onion powder, granulated garlic, celery seed. Dextrose is one of those ingredients I would prefer to avoid. And so what I'm gonna do here is just not use the seasoning pack and just season it myself because I can easily use all the seasonings on here. The thing to be wary of, my body typically doesn't love shrimp because usually it's fed an unnatural diet and they're also bottom feeders. So they're not getting very high quality stuff. But this isn't something I buy all the time. This is just something a client recommended to me. I'm gonna try it. But as far as like the pre-cooked, pre-made types of frozen foods, this is one of the better ones at Trader Joe's. Next, we've got another frozen food we've got some organic jasmine rice now these are one of those packs that come in plastic and you just throw them in the microwave or if you wanted to you could break them open and cook them in the stovetop i typically just use a standard jasmine rice that i actually take the time to cook but i do like to keep these in my fridge from time to time just in case i'm caught in a pinch of where i just need a very very quick dinner i'm out of rice maybe i've under prepped or for whatever reason i don't have it and in three minutes, this comes out amazing. It's just jasmine rice, which is my go-to rice. That's my number one choice. And yes, you're getting a lot of the microplastics, which I'm not a fan of, so I wouldn't do this for every single meal. But if you are in a pinch, it could be a good thing to keep in your freezer. Next, we've got a yogurt. So this is actually a cashew yogurt. This is a yogurt alternative. This is also a new try for me. I've never used this before. So we've got water, organic cashews, which is awesome, organic coconut cream, which is great, organic tapioca starch. Starches, I'm usually iffy about because they do spike your insulin, but this is organic, so it's not the biggest deal for me. You got an organic guar gum, which again, guar gums can actually cause a little bit of bloating, but organic, it makes me happier. And you got some digestive stuff, pectin, agar, and then your culture. So you're getting some probiotics. But again, this is new for me. I'm probably just going to either throw a protein powder in here with some blueberries or maybe some vanilla extract, maple syrup, honey, something. This is just going to be a snack throughout the week. Next, another new product that I am trying that I just found is Jacama wraps. So I've heard of Jacama before. I never really knew what it was. It's basically a staple from Mexico and South America, and it's a crunchy cross between a water chestnut and an apple and it's mild and neutral so it says it's an ideal tortilla alternative you can do wraps and sandwiches tacos quesadillas from this I'm very interested because it's literally just Jacama. Like there's no fillers. There's nothing to smooth it out. So in terms of like if it holds together, it's going to be interesting to check on. But if you're looking for a taco alternative or you need a wrap that's on the smaller side, um, these are definitely worth trying. Next, we've got some organic coconut water. I love this stuff. This is just kind of like an enjoyment. And I'll probably sip on this as I'm filming this from here on out. But this is just coconut. You're looking at organic coconut water. It's really, really cool because as you can tell, it's kind of pink. Um, this is because this one has not been pasteurized. So what you find with most coconut milks is that they're heated up, which allows them to taste a little bit more sweeter. It kills any potentially bad bacteria, but in the process, it also kills many good nutrients and will change the color from more of a pinkish to a clearish or whitish. And so this is just a very, very nice treat. I get this from time to time when I go in there just to sip and enjoy and it's coconut super, super nutrient dense. So this is something that you could have pretty dang often. Next, we got more meat. Um, so these are uncured Bavarian bratwurst. I'm going back to my German roots here. As far as ingredients go, I'm just going to be honest with you. These aren't the best. However, when I'm buying these from the store, it's every once in a while. And it's more of like a weekend dinner for me. So I just enjoy these cut up with some lentil pasta, some veggies. Uh, it's more of like a sit down, enjoyable, big meal. Not really in my standard rotation of food. For ingredients, we got pork. So we are dealing with pork here. Water, salt. We got some spices that are all natural. Dextrose, which going back to that, does spike your blood sugar. We got mono and diglycerides of fatty acids, citric acid spice extract, sodium phosphate. So a couple preservatives here, not too, too happy about it in terms of like, it's not the best, but from an enjoyment standpoint, time to time, this isn't going to ruin my diet. And we're looking at 11 grams of protein per link and you got 22 grams of fat per link. So it's a pretty solid way to get in some protein. I have about two to three of these at a time. All right, next we've got some cheese. I'm actually really excited about this one. So this is a raw milk cheese. So the cool part about this is that it is not pasteurized. So you get a lot of the nutrients that come from a typical milk. So now this doesn't say grass fed. So I would prefer like a raw grass-fed milk but in terms of cheeses this is going to be one of the better ones for ingredients we got raw part skim 
skin cow's milk, cheese culture, salt. We got some vegetable enzymes and some animal rennet. It's nothing too bad in here. I typically go with the Kerrygold Dubliner cheese from Costco, but they were out of stock of that last time I went. So I wanted some cheese from Trader Joe's. This is what we got. All right, next we've got some ground beef. Now, originally when I read this, I thought that this was just organic, meaning the cows had been fed corn, soy, but it was organic corn and soy. But after further inspection, this is not only organic, but it's 100% grass fed as well. So originally I didn't think Trader Joe's carried 100% grass fed ground beef. Now I know they do, which is really, really cool. This is like standardly priced. It's not a great deal. It's not too expensive or anything. It's like the standard you'll find for 100% grass fed ground beef, but I'm probably gonna use these for the Jacama tacos. And yeah, just another good thing to have in stock. Next, we've got some organic ground turkey. So we're going with all the meats today. Make sure when you buy meats, even if they're packaged like this from Trader Joe's, you read the ingredients because some of their products do have included sunflower oil. This one is just organic ground turkey and organic rosemary extract. So beef is typically my number one go-to choice for meat. Turkey's okay. The fact that it's organic makes me feel better. This is not something that's typically in my diet, but I figured to showcase it for you guys and I'm sure I can cook up something that I'll enjoy. Wanted to grab it. All right, we're moving to the next bag. We're getting through it. Um, next, we've got some raw pistachio nuts. Trader Joe's has to be known for their nuts. <laughs> Got it. If they're not, I'm going to be completely surprised because they have such a wide variety. The issue that you run into is most of them are covered with specific oils, peanut oil, rice hole oil, sunflower oil, canola, soybean oil. And so there is a wide variety of nuts available at Trader Joe's. Just make sure whichever ones you buy, you buy them raw. You read the ingredients. It should just be the nut. And that's exactly what we have here. This is just pistachios. This isn't a normal part of my diet, but from time to time, I like to snack on this stuff. So next we've got some seafood options. So we've got some smoked oysters. For ingredients here, we're just looking at smoked oysters and olive oil. So it's not in any inflammatory oils. Oysters are super, super nutrient dense. So they are awesome to have from time to time. These are just things that I'll snack on. This isn't like a staple part of my diet, but every once in a while I'll pick them up and it's a nice treat throughout the week. Next, we've got some lentil pasta. This is a staple for me from Trader Joe's. Um, I am a big, big fan of pasta, love having pasta, but I typically will sit down and have wheat pasta. So whenever I cook, I make sure it's either a lentil pasta or a chickpea pasta. And so this is just 100% lentils from Trader Joe's, organic red lentil flour. Yes, the taste is gonna be a little bit different from a wheat pasta, but from a nutrient standpoint, it's better for you. It's got much more protein in there. And you know, if you're using a good sauce or you're doing whatever you need to do with it, the taste shouldn't throw you off that much. So this is absolutely a staple for me. Next, we've got a beautiful drink called the apple cider vinegar beverage. Um, they've got a couple flavors in here. This is by no means like my first choice when it comes to Trader Joe's items, but it is a nice treat. This isn't something I buy every time, but we've got carbonated water, we've got some organic apple cider vinegar which is great super super good for regulating insulin super good if you're fasting however this is not a fasting compliant drink because it does have 35 calories in there and that is because of all the ingredients after so we've got basically a bunch of juices the issue here is that they're concentrates so you're getting no nutrients from them concentrate is basically these juices boiled down so it's just sugar so in this whole can you are getting seven grams of sugar there's organic natural flavors which is better than regular natural flavors again this is not like a go-to for me but it's a nice drink to treat myself to from time to time next we've got some organic coconut cream. I'm a big, big fan of this one. So this is literally just organic coconut and water. It's a little bit more thicker than a coconut water and there's no thickeners or emulsifiers or any of these gums that we're trying to cut down on or avoid. I typically use this to make some homemade ice cream. So you just blend this with some ice and then whatever flavoring you want to use. You can use fruit, honey, protein powder. Um, this is a cool little late night snack. It's not something I buy all the time, but from time to time I do buy it and I'm able to treat myself. Next, we've got literally my favorite seasoning of all time. This is an absolute must. I have this on burgers every night. I've used it on a couple other things on my liver and it's just amazing. So mommy's actually the fifth type of taste, which I did not know is that it's along with sweet, sour, bitter, salty. You also have something called umami. So this uses mushrooms. We got salt, dried onions, ground mustard seed, porcini mushroom powder, white button mushroom powder, crushed red pepper, black pepper, dried thyme. So no preservatives, no acid, no added sugar, anything like that. This is an amazing seasoning. We'll follow it up by a new seasoning that I've never tried, which is this pizza sprinkle. Um, this has got tomato powder, granulated garlic, paprika, sea salt, rice concentrate, coriander, black pepper, dried parsley, dried basil, dried oregano. So again, no preservatives, no acids in here. I'm really excited to try this out. I don't even know what I'm gonna to try to put it on yet, but it says add it to any pizza dish or even vegetables. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes, but I'm definitely excited to try it. Next, we've got arguably the only health, quote healthy protein bar from Trader Joe's. Um, I'm not too happy with their protein selection, but we've got the Go Macro Bar. This is an organic bar. As far as protein goes, it only has 10 grams. So this would not be by any means like a consistent snack I'd have. I'd be looking for something a little more protein dense. And if I'm being honest, the ingredients are clean, but there is a lot of sugar in here. So we're getting 13 grams of added sugar. I will say the sugar is not coming just from coconut sugar or any refined sugar. So the first ingredient is organic brown rice syrup. So that's where you're gonna be getting most of the sugar from, followed by almond butter. We got a protein blend 
in there, almonds, puff brown rice, chocolate chips, which has sugar in it, sunflower seed butter, cocoa powder, coconut sugar, and organic natural flavors and sea salt. As far as the natural flavors go, so those can be really anything and they can be used to stimulate your taste buds, but I feel much better about them that they're organic because it means they're actual real ingredients. They're not made in the lab. So something I barely have, but if I'm ever at Trader Joe's and I'm just craving a snack, I'll sometimes grab one of these. Next is a newer product that I'm actually a really, really big fan of is GT's Alive Ancient Mushroom Elixir. So this is actually a root beer that uses mushrooms like reishi, chaga, and turkey tail. This has probably the cleanest ingredients I've seen and it honestly tastes really good. So we've got the adaptogenic mushroom fusion. So the fact that it's the first ingredient is actually really, really encouraging. This goes in with some organic tea, some organic raw apple cider vinegar, some organic dark amber maple, some organic root beer spices, organic erythritol, and organic stevia. Whenever you see erythritol, it's a good idea to go for the ones that are organic. So this passes my test. Again, it's not something I'm consuming like every single day, but if I go to Trader Joe's once again, and I'm craving something or there's something that I want to try, um, this has been something I've probably had like three or four times right now. The aftertaste is like iffy, but I really do enjoy it. As far as ingredient quality goes, it's a great option. And we only got a couple things left. Um, so first and foremost is going to be this orange juice. This is also one of those things that I'll buy like one or two of every time I go. And the reason why is because orange juice is so, so nutrient dense. But the problem you see with most orange juices in the store is number one, they usually add sugar to them. But number two, what you'll find with pretty much every orange juice you see is that it's pasteurized, which means a lot of the nutrients are killed off. So the reason I love this is not only because it's unpasteurized and it has the nutrients, but even if you see the expiration date, so this says enjoy before January 30th, which is in 10 days. So it expires super, super quickly, which tells me that it's fresh. It doesn't use any preservatives. And as far as fructose goes, this is really good for just performing at a better level in the gym. So I'll sip on this before a workout, sometimes during a workout, and I just really enjoy it. And then last but not least, um, this is like the drug of choice that I get from Trader Joe's. It is sauerkraut. But the cool part is that it is joined with pickle Persian cucumbers. So you're basically getting sauerkraut and pickles. Now from a fermentation standpoint, sauerkraut, pickled cucumbers are amazing for bacteria in your gut. So they're super, super good for digestion. And there's just something about having these two mixed together that is so enjoyable. So in here, we got cabbage, Persian cucumber, sea salt, and garlic. So I'll typically snack on sauerkraut, whether it's after a meal, sometimes during a meal, with a meal, but I enjoy the taste. And as far as how it affects your digestion and your gut, it's a great product. So that is all I've got. I realized while I was going through that, I bought way more than I thought I did. That was a lot of products. If you do shop at Trader Joe's and there's something I missed that either you love and you know it has clean ingredients, or maybe you're curious if the ingredients are clean, feel free to leave me a comment. If you are on the road to working towards losing fat and you want support, make sure you check the link in the description of this video. We got a free training there that lies out everything we do. And we are putting out more videos like this all the time. So make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell to join the community. Of course, as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'll see you in the next video.